talk about a series with fantastic characters. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Uncharted characters. Jake, if we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know I hate your guts. Yeah, likewise, pal. Now, let's do this. For this list, we're looking at the best characters from the Uncharted series of video games. These characters can be from any game in the series prior to Uncharted 4, as it hasn't been released yet at the time of writing. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. Number 10, I talk Navarro. Navarro, that thing wiped out an entire colony. You don't know what you're doing. Wrong. I'm the only person on this island who knows what the hell he's doing. A seemingly ignored villain from fans, Navarro nevertheless proved immensely satisfying as an antagonist and as a true challenge in the climax of the original game, Drake's Fortune. <laughs> Navarro is a South American archaeologist and the leader of a team of mercenaries. With an extensive knowledge of El Dorado, Navarro uses his intelligence and cunning to get what he wants, even if it means betraying his colleagues, such as the scene where he tells Roman to open up the statue. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! A heartless villain always makes for a good villain. <laughs> Watch this. Number 9, Eddie Raja. Hey, Drake. Don't mess with Eddie Raja. So says Raja, referring to himself in the third person. And as ridiculous as that sounds, it does bear some semblance of truth. That's because Raja is both a tough and formidable foe throughout the first game, and always seems to be annoying in getting between Drake and Eldorado. Going somewhere? Hey, Eddie! Did you really think you could escape from what? The leader of an Indonesian pirate gang, Raja is not only an antagonist, but also the protagonist of the comic Eye of Indra. He even goes out in cool villain fashion by being bitten and dragged down into a hole by the cursed descendants of El Dorado. Yeesh. <laughs> Number eight, Catherine Marlowe. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. While an old English lady may not seem like a terrifying and memorable antagonist for a video game, Catherine Marlowe proves everyone wrong by providing the Uncharted series with one of its most memorable villains. She's of no interest to us. Unless, of course, we need to apply a little pressure. As the primary antagonist of Drake's deception, Marlowe serves as the leader of a secret society formed by Queen Elizabeth over 400 years ago. Her past links to Nathan's, as she attempted to steal Francis Drake's ring from a museum before Nathan got it first. Cold and calculating, Marlowe is to be feared both physically and mentally. Hermes, as Francis earned it from Elizabeth, prove your greatness! Number seven, Charlie Cutter. Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean, huh? They touched you. You headbutted me. A welcome addition to the series being introduced in the third game, Charlie Cutter is both a memorable character and a nice improvement to the already well-established gang of heroes. Cutter has perhaps one of the most exciting entrances of any character in the series, as he initially appears to be a villain by shooting both Drake and Sully before it's revealed that he's actually on their side. Bet you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sully, you got no sense of drama. While he looks tough, he's actually loyal to a T, and is one of the funniest characters in the entire series, which is always a bonus. We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. Number six, Zoran Lazarevic. So, this little man is Drake. While Marlowe may not have been a stereotypical villain, Zorin most certainly ticks all the boxes, including brutal actions, scary burnt face and eye scar, imposing build, and menacing Eastern European accent. It appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Zorin is a true villain in every sense of the word, and he will stop at nothing to find the lost city of Shambhala, including double-crossing his associates and killing his own men. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> one of the series' scariest villains, and that's even before he drinks from the pool of resin to become unstoppable. Needless to say, we don't want to piss off this guy. Drake! <laughs> Hold your fire! Hold your fire! He's mine. Number five, Chloe Fraser. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake, Nathan, Drake. Introduced in the second game as Nathan's love interest, 
Frasier is a tough-as-nails woman that will do anything to get what she wants. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. With a seductive Australian accent, Chloe works her way through the heart of Nathan and players as we slowly get to learn about their relationship. And she becomes the perfect love triangle fodder between herself, Nathan, and Elena. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, am I sensing some history here? Oh, Elena Fisher. Last year's model. <laughs> she is one of the most professional characters throughout the series, and her sense of morality is much more elastic compared to other heroes, making her both questionable and fascinating to watch. I never asked for any of your bloody heroics. Chloe, come on, we don't have time for this. You're right, so get off the train while you still can. And leave you with them. You made your choice. Number four, Harry Flynn. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! <laughs> With one of the most punchable faces and personalities of the entire series, Flynn successfully pissed off legions of players while also denying us the satisfaction of putting a bullet in him at the end of the second game. Sorry, love. This isn't a movie. And you're not the plucky girl who reforms the villain and saves the day. Flynn is a cool-looking, slicked-back, hair-toting guy known for his sense of humor and no-care attitude. An associate of Drake's from the past, Flynn manipulates him into a job before betraying him and leaving him to be captured, a move which both infuriated players and cemented Flynn in our minds as a true villainous individual. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Number three, Elena Fisher. Ugh, that's for leaving me at the dock. What the hell are you doing here? Listen, I'm a good enough reporter to follow a couple of no-luck tomb robbers. Shh. It went this way. While Chloe may be more badass, Elena is much more down-to-earth and moral, making her a perfect match for Nathan and providing the series with many of its touching moments. Sorry you didn't get your story. Well, that's all right. There'll be other stories. You still owe me one. Appearing in all three main games of the series, she is often out of her element around Drake and his adventures, but she always tries her best and always sticks by her friend. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. The performance of Emily Rose has constantly been praised, as has her character herself, with many reviewers positively identifying with her strong and three-dimensional personality. She's the perfect love interest. So where do we go from here, huh? Number two, Victor Sully Sullivan. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied, Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Nathan's cigar-chomping, gruff-voiced mentor and partner, Mr. Goddamn Sully is the perfect counterweight to Nathan's outlandish and kinda immature behavior. All right, Nate, just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? Meeting Nate during the ring fiasco with Marlo in Columbia, Sully mentors Nathan throughout his life and taught him how to be a professional thief. He protects Nate like a son, and the two have a perfect camaraderie that the writing deftly manages to capture. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, but... Damn, I was sure they'd killed you, kid. Their quips towards each other are always funny, his sarcasm is endearing, and the games just wouldn't be the same without him. Come on, who didn't get emotional when we thought he was dead? No. Please. Sully. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hi, Marissa Chase. Nate. Nope. You're not one of Dante's buddies, no prison tech. You two should realize by now that I plan for every contingency. Now drop your weapons. Down there. How long have I been out? Yeah. Tom. Tom. Thanks. Number one, Nathan Drake. Are you sure you want to be defiling your ancestors' remains like that? You make it sound so dirty. <laughs> Whoa, I bet you didn't see that one coming, did ya? Yeah. Nathan Drake is not only the best character in the series, but also one of the most memorable characters in all of gaming. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble, I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> he's fast and resourceful, as he's able to kill just about anyone in his path, and uses his intelligence to get out of really hairy situations. But he's also deeply human and flawed, rounding him out and giving him the perfect amount of dimension necessary to make a great character. Marco Polo's passport to Shambhala. What do we do with it? Ah, <laughs> I have no idea. He's also hilarious and infectiously charming, which makes him a fantastic companion for hours and hours of gaming. Is that it? Is that my deal? Die now, or help you, and die later. Oh, it's a tough call, but you know what? 
I'll take Dai now. Do you agree with our list? I think he'd approve. What character from the series is your favorite? We don't get to choose how we start in this life. Real greatness, it's what you do with the hand you dealt. For more adventurous top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 <laughs>